Okay, hello there. Uh, this is October 2019, and uh, I've updated to the new Unity, and I was pretty shocked when I noticed that the import package they just basically nerfed it. So you can still get the standard assets like the first-person controller, and this 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 uh, new asset store is just ter well just really hard to navigate it's quite upsetting um, one of the things you can do is go into the unit asset store and search for character controller but it, and that gives you some free ones to play with uh, but that's not what we need to do what we need to do is go to home and we're looking for standard assets search I don't know what they're playing at doing this. It's not even available, I uh, could see from the. Anyway, so that's what we need to get. Download. It's because they're wanting to ditch it uh, and upgrade. And. Um, but these things are useful. So that was in the asset store. You look for standard assets. It's Unity Technologies, and it's free. Um, yeah, it's a shock that it's not included. But I, I, this is a, the deeper issue here with Unity, um, <clears throat> which is they're you know they're falling into the trap of a bit like Microsoft of constantly releasing updates, constantly updates, constantly updates. And in a development world, you just need one thing that works. You don't need another hundred new things that add all sorts of instability. At some point, you have to stop the development process uh, and not have the latest and the greatest, because the latest and the greatest won't work on 50% of the computers in the target base. It makes me a little bit cross, if I'm honest, because... I've seen it in so many fields, like websites, you've got to have the latest, greatest flash, you've got to have Shockwave, the latest version, and version control, and you just end up alienating so many people, and it's, um, it's upsetting and it's silly. Uh, they've, at least they've imported, they've got, they realize, they, I think the penny is dropping because they've created this hub. Unity Hub, so you can actually choose which version of Unity you want, rather than it fighting each other, so that you update to 2019, and suddenly all your 2018 and 17 projects don't work, and then you've got to spend hours figuring out why, as in like this. I'm going to try not to get too angry about it. Um, I mean, I don't think it's intentional, it's just... Um, you know, it was like when uh, with Microsoft Word coming up with a ribbon bar, and you don't need a menu system anymore. Well, no, people quite like the menu system, the file. You know, it'd be like Unity 2020 saying, "Oh, we don't need this. We'll have a ribbon bar instead, and we'll just change everything." It's it's, pe it's people with too much time on their hands doing things where they could just back off a bit and let people get on with stuff. In my opinion. And it's not necessarily a bad idea to have a ribbon bar, but keep the. Uh, it's what eventually what they did is they kept the old one as well, so you could have your things. But you know, it's a form of obfuscation, which I find as a teacher an absolute um, antithesis of education and learning. Is if you constantly change your whole user interface and you constantly change the functionality, because people are just trying to get their heads round. Oh, I go to assets and package manager, and then you rip away the package manager. So import package, and you don't get the packages anymore. So now we've got to import them through the asset store, and then it then make it really hard to find the assets as well. Um, yeah, there we go. I think it's also something to do with trying to segment the market so they don't give away too much and then force you into, I don't know, buying things. I don't, maybe I'm being a bit cynical there, but what it does is it, it you, you end up 
alienating, upsetting people, and then they'll stop wanting to use your stuff. Because the whole reason I use Unity rather than Unreal 3D is because it's easier to use, and if you start, m because my speciality is ergonomics, and if you start messing around with that and make it harder to use just for the sake of things, right, uh, then I will switch to something else. But anyway, so first person controller, that's enough of my ranting. I'll try not to rant too much. Um, we drag the first person controller in, hopefully it works. Right. Got a bit of bounce to it. Um, so there was the first person controller, we've got to disable the camera, the main camera, so that we've just got the Really fast. I need to maximize on play. Let's have a look. Something feels wrong. It's um, it's a lot faster, which is nice. Um, the gravity is kicking. Why? I've told you that. Oh, well, that was the main camera I've moved. Move you out of the way. Controller, there we go. That's better. Get rid of the head bob as well. Rigid body, character, head bob. Use head bob, no. Okay. Now hit play. Now it's better. I'm back to where I want to be parachuting into my virtual world. Okay, so that's the first one. Uh, I don't know why it's letterbox. Why is it letterbox? Why have they decided this is cool? It's not cool. Oh dear. I'm getting quite upset. What's this camera? Field of view. Clipping planes. No, I don't think I need that. Field of view about 90, 70, 80. Field of view 80. <sighs> what is the setting? What physical camera maybe? I'm looking for it. Let's have a look. Shift and forward arrow to fall down faster. That is. Well, but why is this letter? Oh, why the letter letterbox? What's this? What the? Why isn't it? Uh, the thing I'm getting worried, annoyed about is I've said full screen and they've decided to make it into this pathetic letterbox. To me, that isn't full screen. That, that's full screen. Even that's not really full screen, is it? It's better, but why is it intruding on me? I don't want. <laughs> I don't want to see all this. I'm getting angry again. But part of the in uh, immersion is when you hit play, it's not to be seeing loads of stupid windows. Right. Okay, well, the next step is for me to try and get my toolkit to work, terrain toolkit, and um, also I will work on trying to get this camera to work. So when you hit play, this is, see that whole menu system is upsetting to me because I want to experience what the game looks like, not be constantly reminded that I'm in some little box. Okay. Okay. 